Hello, welcome to RCC's Math Tape 096, another set of word problems that can be modeled by linear, linear equations, systems of linear equations. The two types of problems we cover on this tape are mixture problems and rate of wind or current problems. Our first type is mixture problems. In real life, we mix things all the time. Think about it. You mix different kinds of fruit juices for a fruit punch, gasoline and oil for your chainsaw, water and antifreeze for your car radiator, different kinds of teas to make a blend of tea, different kinds of coffees for a blend of coffee. We put cream in our coffee, we put sugar on our cereal, the, the list is virtually endless. In whatever profession you choose, there's bound to be some combination of things. Things don't arise, re, arrive at our desks ready to use. We have to do mixing. We're going to tackle mixture problems by setting up a system of linear equations following a particular pattern. Pay close attention to this pattern. It is a universal type of pattern. We'll look at some examples that show you how to use this pattern to solve mixture problems. As usual, take careful notes and make sure you mark on your paper any places that you need help as we go through the tape. So let's begin. As previously stated, our objective on this tape is to use a system of linear equations to solve mixture problems and rate of wind or rate of current problems. Mixture problems and rate of wind or rate of current problems. We'll get to the second type a bit later. For now, we're going to concentrate on mixture problems. So let's look at mixture. We want to set up a system of linear equations to solve a mixture problem, but our pattern that we must follow is the same for all mixture problems. The amount times unit value equals total value. Amount times unit value equals total value. This is a formula that you must memorize. Be sure you know this formula, amount times unit value equals total value. Let's look at what is meant by each of these. The amount is the number of units of whatever the item is the number of units of whatever the item is. The number of units may be measured in pounds, as in pounds of coffee. It may be in yards, as in yards of cloth. It may be in liters, as in liters of disinfectant. It may be in gallons, as in gallons of fruit juice, etc and so on for all other kinds of units that we can measure things in. The amount is just how many of them we have. How many pounds of nuts? How many yards of carpet? How many liters of acid? How many gallons of milk? The unit value is a value in money or in percent of one unit. Unit means one, so it's the value of one of these units of measure. Value in money or in percent. Value in money or in percent of one unit. If it's a value in money, we'll be talking about cost per pound, how much Per pound does that T cost? Cost per yard? How much does it cost for one yard of wallpaper? Cost per liter? What is the price per liter of gasoline? Gallon? What is the price per gallon of orange juice? And so on. Or else the unit value will simply be a percent. Notice the percent is just all by itself. The percent might be, we're saying that there is a 70% solution of hydrochloric acid. 
and the percent would be the unit value. The total value is found by multiplying these two things. We multiply the number of units times the value of one unit. And that will give us the total value for however much we have of the item. Our amount times unit value equals total value gives us the formula that we will use in setting up the system of equations for the word problems. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. Our first example says, how many pounds, how many pounds of ground sirloin that costs seven dollars and fifty cents per pound and ground round that costs three dollars and twenty five cents per pound must be used to make thirty four pounds of a mixture that is worth four dollars and fifty cents per pound <clears throat> there's no way in the world you can write that fast so let's go through it a couple more times how many pounds of ground sirloin that costs seven dollars and fifty cents per pound and ground round that costs three dollars and twenty five cents per pound must be used to make thirty four pounds of a mixture 34 pounds of a mixture that is worth $4.50 per pound. Be sure you have that the ground sirloin costs $7.50 per pound. Be sure you have that the ground round costs $3.25 per pound. Be sure you have that there will be 34 pounds of the mixture and be sure you have that the mixture is worth four dollars and fifty cents per pound. Notice that we have four numbers seven dollars and fifty cents for the sirloin per pound, three dollars and twenty-five cents for the round per pound, thirty-four for the number of pounds of the mixture and $4.50 per pound for the price of the mixture. 